Magenta Canada and CNM Seeds present the Wheat School on RealAgriculture.com. Yeah, herbicides can be very sensitive to how they're applied and we typically uh, divide things into two categories whether they're contact products or systemic products and it makes a lot of sense to everyone that a contact product uh, will require more coverage and a systemic will require less coverage. But there's another added complicating factor and that is they're often tank mixed so we often have a combination of some actives in the mix are contact, some are systemic and which rules. And there's uh, further complicating factors, which is the weed type. Uh, a lot of the uh, droplet deposition characteristics depend on whether that weed is broadleaf and easy to wet, or grassy and difficult to wet. That determines to some degree the droplet size sensitivity, for example. Um, so we, uh, we have a, a fairly challenging matrix to unravel uh, with, with all this complexity. But uh, I think a, a very good question is uh, if I use, say, 5 or, or, or 10 uh, gallons per acre as my application volume, how coarse can I go uh, before I start losing performance of the product? Uh, because I think there is a strong push to going coarser because of drift management. Now, as we move, of course, uh, with this increased awareness of, of herbicide-resistant weeds, uh, the tank mix of two different modes of action is, is certainly starting to be the mantra for burn-off, um, how does that impact what you might choose when you're, when you're mixing two products that may be very different? That's a really important development as, as we see glyphosate-resistant kochia migrate to you know, east from Alberta. Uh, the days, I guess, of, of, of applying glyphosate by itself are probably over. And uh, we also have to be very careful about which tank mix uh, partner we do choose because uh, uh, kochia is already group 2 resistant to, to a large degree. Uh, so that leaves a few other options, and uh, some of them are group 14s. Uh, we're talking about clean start, we're talking about heat. Uh, some of them are uh, certainly, those are contact products. And uh, they perform quite differently uh, compared to glyphosate, for example. Uh, in some of our testing, we've shown that uh, the contact products require more water and smaller droplet sizes, uh, finer sprays to work well. And that's exactly the opposite of glyphosate. Traditionally, we apply glyphosate at between three and five U.S. gallons per acre, and we can apply them in a coarse to very coarse spray, and it works just fine. In tank mix with these contact partners, that will no longer be the right way to apply glyphosate, and we have to re-educate ourselves about how best to do it now. So are we suggesting two passes, or do you meet somewhere in the middle? What's the, what's the answer? That's a very good question. I think it depends on each farmer. I think two passes is obviously, uh, that would be quite a, <laughs> uh, quite a requirement. But you can meet somewhere in the middle. Uh, glyphosate uh, certainly works better at lower water volumes and clean start works better at higher water volumes. So you can, you can meet in the middle somewhere. Uh, perhaps there's an adjuvant solution. Perhaps there's a glyphosate rate answer as well. If you lose some glyphosate performance, maybe we can add a little bit more glyphosate within label uh, laws, of course, uh, to boost that performance a little bit. And would nozzle selection play, play a huge role there? Again, do you meet in the middle? What's the, what's the answer? Nozzle selection is incredibly important, and nozzle selection is really driven by things that are already set. Uh, for example, producers own sprayers that are big and fast, and so by virtue of that speed, they will use larger flow rate nozzles. These nozzles inherently already produce fairly coarse sprays. Uh, it's going to be very difficult to turn the clock back and go back to finer sprays because uh, we've really abandoned those in agriculture. So we have to find a way of making a coarse spray applied at a fast travel speed work well for a contact product. All right. Thanks so much. All right.